Hi everyone, my name is Esra Cansuzoğlu. I'm a, a computer vision scientist here at Wayfair. Today I'm going to talk about object pose estimation. Uh, this problem appears in mostly robotics and augmented reality domains. Uh, if you have a mobile robot and if you want your robot to grab an object and pick it up, you would like to localize that object. And when the camera pose or the location of your mobile robot is changing, you have to localize the object again and again so that you can accurately pick it, pick it up with the robot. On another side, for example, uh, you are taking one of the 3D models from Wayfair catalog and trying to visualize that furniture in your room and you, uh, you want to take your camera and turn around the furniture so that you would see how it looks like it looks in your room. So for that, at every step, we need to localize the camera so that we can uh, you can view the, uh, view the object in a much more accurate way. So um, how do we solve this problem? First of all, we need to understand the imaging. So usually the objects appears, appear in 3D world uh, and in 3D coordinate system, let's say we have a point P and this point is projected into pixel coordinate system uh, by using camera intrinsics matrix. Basically, we are taking this P and based on the uh, image that we are taking from camera one, we can relate this uh, point P into point Q in the pixel coordinate system. So uh, this appears with the camera intrinsics matrix, which uh, consists of focal lengths at X, F, Y, and principal points CX and CY, and a skew uh, coefficient uh, gamma. So uh, for these PQ correspondences, the equation would look like this. So uh, this would work for camera one. Let's say our robot moved to another location. So it's taking another image from camera two. So there is a rotation and translation that's happening between these two cameras and another image taken from camera two. And for that image, now we need to change this equation accordingly. What would happen is first we have to apply this rotation and translation to this real world uh, 3D coordinate and then use again camera intrinsics matrix to do the projection into the second image uh, pixel coordinate system. So in this equation, what we are interested in is to find rotation and translation. Uh, in order to find that, we need three correspondences between 3D and 2D points. Uh, given 3D correspondences, we can solve this equation uh, deterministically. Um, uh, the most important point at this uh, stage is how do we get these correspondences? It's a, a pretty tricky problem uh, in real world. So there are methods out there for feature matching such as SIFT, SURF or ORB. Uh, you can use those methods to do the correspondence search. Uh, but these methods would still give us some noisy correspondences as well. So in order to filter out these outlier correspondences, we need to, uh, we use another method called uh, random sample consensus or known as RANSAP so that uh, we would much more accurately estimate rotation and translation. And once you have this accurate rotation and translation estimation, now you can lead your robot to pick up that object or maybe take your phone so that you can view the item that you picked in your room in a much more better way. Thanks for watching and uh, come back and check again for more explainer videos.